First came first one I ever sung. Remind me, dear Lord. Remind me. Can you get that in the stamp books for me right fast? If you would, please. It's in one of the stamps books, Inspiration. Oh, the Lord helped you to sing. So precious and so sweet. Praise the Lord. Well, he just... Well, I was thinking about the doves cooing. They yes, sir. birds also. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, the birds are singing. they cooed just at the right time. Yeah, Larry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Larry said she was going in to have And they started they right start there. Cooing. Did you know Larry prayed, Now, Lord, if you're with me this morning, have those birds coo. <laughs> See, it's a wonder he didn't shout the aisles and hang from the rafters and do a few other things. As excited he, he was, but... You know, if there's a rumor going around that we have a show down here, I guess he couldn't do that. But God helped him anyway, you know. Listen, folks, i tell you something. Look out. If you ever saying stuff like that, look out, look out, look out. true, Pastor. The old days when the saints of God would run the aisles and shout for Jesus. They haven't seen anything yet if God hits this place. And I'll tell you one thing, everyone that said that will be right here on the first, second, or third seat. That's what they'll have to do uh, to make their way up the path of obedience. It's really something to say that to influence somebody else, you know. So I'm, I'm thankful that we're just trying to obey Jesus the very best we know. Praise the Lord. I saw Brother Larry's shoulders start working. Boy, did he just do his shoulders like that? <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. I want to tell you that when I was at the American Booksellers Convention, uh, Jesus sent me in. I saw a Jewish man, a part of the group called Lamb, I believe. It, part of another group. But anyway, he was a, it's like a group like that. And, and uh, she took me, Loretta took me to him. And most wonderful meeting I had all day was this Jewish man who would like to come and be with us in Philadelphia. They're all doctors and lawyers. They could fly in and be with us. And they have an album that talks about the bride, the, the bride of Christ. And he's recognized the Messiah. And Jesus has saved 17 or 18 of his family. He's trusting for mom and dad. He's a big man, a beautiful man, all Jewish. But he loves the Messiah and oh, his, his words are so beautiful when he loved us. It was a wonderful meeting we had in the morning. I was privileged to meet Jim Baker and Tammy. I was privileged to talk to Doug Oldham. Privileged to meet the hunters. I just walked all over the place and met everybody I could, you know, and talked to them. Had a wonderful time. But I want to tell you something. My meeting with Dr. Falwell is just about as wonderful as this meeting here. It touches my heart now. Because he recognized me. I started past him and I got my hand out and said, Dr. Falwell, I said, I was with you in Washington. He said, I remember Pastor Hope. I like that. I remember Pastor Hope. And his eyes were just, it was really precious and beautiful. And it was worth the whole day just to talk to this youth man. And then I got in another place, a little witness that I, don't, I can't talk about here. God had me witnessing for about an hour in a certain booth in there. And Jesus really helped us. So I walked all over the place meeting the most famous persons in evangelical Christianity and had a wonderful, precious time because uh, Good News Bookshop let me in some way they got me in. Uh, I just sort of was an unofficial buyer is what I was, Jack. And I, and, uh, so I was glad because it's real tight. You can't hardly get in. But Jack got word and he called Loretta and they got me in that place. And I was thankful. Uh, Bill Stevens said to me, he said, boy, he said, you can do about anything, can't you? He'd figure out how in the world I got in on that floor. I said, listen, listen, uh, Bill. Uh, when I'm determined, I'm determined. But he didn't know I had a wonderful friend back here that got me and I told him about you. And then he told me the history of the bookshops, how God had brought these bookshops into existence. All right, I'm going to sing with him, Stephen. Lord help me. I'm glad. First time I ever walked into this sanctuary, uh, the quartet was singing this song, and they asked me to to join them and to sing with them. <clears throat> My voice, of course, is not normal. It's not well yet, but the Lord helping me, touching it, we can make it through this song. This is the first song I ever sung. In fact, I was one of the loneliest preachers that ever walked this earth. I was almost that lonely when I walked in this morning. It's almost as lonely as the day I walked down the fence. Not because I didn't have friends. Not because I didn't have people that loved me. Simply because to try to obey God in a certain way brings such loneliness. There's nothing, there's no comparison. I mean, there's no way to tell you until you have to step out in naked faith 
to obey God on a particular morning or a particular sermon or, or whatever. When I walked in this morning, that loneliness was almost as deep. That sense of desperateness and of trust. But I, I, my heart's a warming up and uh, I remember singing this with you some years ago. All right.